of all the people I've interviewed or met, this is someone I never interviewed, but I have talked to him a couple of times. The greatest leader I've ever met in the world is literally a king. It's MBZ Sheikh Mohammed of Abu Dhabi, who is Muslim. I am definitely not Muslim. I'm Christian, Protestant Christian. And so I don't agree with his religion and I don't agree with monarchies, um, but he's the best leader in the world that I've ever met. And by far, it's like not even close. And why is that? Well, there, I could bore you for an hour on the subject, but the, the, the reason that he's such a good leader is because he's guided by an ever-present knowledge of his limitations and of the limits of his power and of his foresight. And when you start there, when you start with reality, it's not even humility. Humility can be a pose, like, oh, I'm so, I'm so humble, okay. Humble brag is a phrase for a reason. It's like way deeper than that. It's just like, no. Can I, do I have magical powers? Can I see the future? No, okay. That's just a fact. So I'm not God. But I've never seen anybody more at ease with admitting that and want than MBZ, just a remarkable person. And for that reason, he is like treated as an oracle. I don't think people understand the number of world leaders who traipse through his house or palace to seek his counsel is there's no, I, I'm not sure that there is a parallel since I don't want to get too hyperbolic here, but honestly, since like Solomon, where people come from like around the world to ask what he thinks. Now, why would they be doing that? Because Abu Dhabi's military is so powerful. I mean, he's rich, okay, massive oil and gas deposits, but like for a lot of, you know, so is Canada. <laughs> you know what I mean? And no one is coming to Ottawa, Tawa, to ask Justin Trudeau what he thinks. No, it's humility. That's where wisdom comes from. You start to think like, so I spent my whole life like mad at America's leadership class because it's not just Biden or the people in official positions, it's the whole constellation of advisors and throne sniffers around them. And I'm, it's not that even that I disagree with them, it's I'm not impressed by them. I'm just not impressed. They're not that capable, right? So that's what I was saying about Nikki Haley. It's, I don't think she, Nikki Haley's the most evil person in the world. I think she's ridiculous, obviously. And everyone's like, oh, Nikki Haley or Mike Pompeo. What? Great leaders are so rare that when you see one, you know it right away. It blows your mind. And what blows my mind about Sheikh Mohammed in Abu Dhabi is that everyone in the world knows it. And I've never seen a story on this. And, I, and I'm not guessing. I know this is true because I've seen it. Everyone in the world knows it. And so if there's a conflict, he's the only person that people call. Like everybody calls the same guy. And it's like he runs this tiny little country, the UAE. I mean, he's the... In Abu Dhabi, there are a bunch of emirates, but he's the president of the country, but still, and it's got a ton of energy and all that wealth and all that. And Dubai's got great real estate and restaurants, but but really it's a tiny little country that wasn't even a country 50 years ago. So how did that happen? Purely on the basis of his humility and the wisdom that results from that humility. That's it. 